For our Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress, we've released a new landing page set called Bright. And one of the highlights in this landing page set is that we have graphical elements that are fully editable without needing Photoshop or a graphic designer. And in this video, I will show you how they work, what they look like and how you can edit them. Our first example is this ebook cover graphic, which is featured on quite a few of the pages. So here's the download page. You'll also find a version of this on the opt-in pages and on the sales page. And so as you can see, it basically looks like kind of a slightly abstract book cover. And let's go into Thrive Architect to edit this page to look at what we can do here. So this graphic here consists of several content boxes. So we have a parent content box in the, in the breadcrumbs here. We can basically see how this is set up. We've got a parent content box that goes around everything. Inside, we have a smaller content box for the top half. This is this has this decoration, the, the inward pointer. And then the second box at the bottom, which is a different background color. And then we have another one right here on the side, which is difficult to select because as you can see, it kind of glitches out a little bit when I select it. But there's a very narrow content box here, which all it contains is a gradient. It creates this gradient effect on the side. And yeah, that's basically what we have. These are the components. So obviously you can change the text, right? Change the text. And you can do things like make it bold, italicize it, whatever you, what, anything you can do with text. You can change the size, the font, and so on. That is, I think, the most straightforward, you know, editable thing about this. Then you can change the background colors on both of these sections. So if I choose this content box and I go to the background style, you see here I can change the color of this. And by default, we have kind of this little gap here that makes for a nice graphical effect together with the background color. So if you have a different brand color here and you change the background color, let's change this to some shade of blue, let's say, then you'll see that you know, the, the cover graphic adjusts automatically because this actually just, the background is peeking through here. If you don't want that effect, you can change a few things. So if we change the, if we go to this top content box here, you'll see that we have a pointer decoration at the bottom. And of course, well, first of all, we can just get rid of it and that's it. Um, we can also replace it against something else, right? Any of the decorations will look nice here, basically. And if you make an adjustment, so if I want to have a stronger angle here, for, for example, then I have to move these closer together to close the gap here. So this is also on this section here, you can see that we have a, a negative bottom margin. So if we set this to zero, you can see that obviously, you know, there's no space between the bottom of this box and the top of this one. And so I can change this here, I can adjust this like this, what I'll also have to do, so to close the gap, this is what I can do, right? What I'll also have to do, as you can see here, is we have a different background color here than on the on the parent box. And I can either adjust the height of the second content box right here to do this. I can also, in this case, you know, um, if I have whatever the, the background color here is, I can basically get this and choose the, the parent box in the background, just give it the same background color. That would be another you know, way to basically achieve the same effect. Uh, it's important that we have the background box because the background box is where the drop shadow is applied. So that's another thing. If you want to change or remove the drop shadow here, that is on the parent box in the background. And just as a reminder, you can always click on any content box or any element inside and use the breadcrumbs to find the parent background box. Also, if you want to change the alignment or anything like that of this graphic, you also have to do this on the content box in the background, right? So I've selected the parent and now I can align this differently like I would an image. But if I do that on one of the inside boxes, then basically nothing's going to happen because they fill the full width of the parent box anyway. So that's the ebook cover graphic. There are some more graphics like this. One of them we'll find here. It is the guarantee badge. 
So right here we've got this guarantee badge, which is quite graphical looking, but it's also fully editable. So let's look at how that works. So here in the editor, we can see this and we have, again, obviously the text is uh, selectable, editable, translatable. And in the breadcrumbs here, we can see that the text I've selected right now is inside a content box, which is the round part of the guarantee badge. And all of that, is inside a parent content box, which is empty. It simply contains all of this. So if you want to move the guarantee badge to somewhere else, this is where you do it. Let's just drop it outside or yeah, below this box like this. All right, so with this, let's look at what you can edit. So let's look at the ribbon first. At the bottom, we have this ribbon, which is a content box with a background. So we can change the color of this background and it has a bottom decoration which is a reverse pointer and we can change the properties of that. We can also change, you know, we can remove it or do whatever we want with it to change what this ribbon looks like. Then what we have here, this circle is a box with very round corners, right? The circle is basically always a box with very round corners and it has a border. Let me change the color of the border so we can see that, right? It has a border and because you can only have one border around an object, um, the second border is actually a drop shadow. So the second black border here is, let me change the color of that too so we can see it. So this is a drop shadow, which I've just applied the same color as the inside too. And it has no blur. Uh, it has no distance, no blur. All it has is a spread. That basically, so a drop shadow with no distance, no blur and spread is basically the same as an all around border. So that's how we created this double border effect. Now, one thing that's important to note, if you want to change the color, if you want to change the background color, I should say, then there are several places where you need to make that change. So let's assume that we want to do that. I will change this, I don't know, let's just make it a lighter gray and I'll copy this color here. And so first of all, what we've already looked at, this drop shadow, I would have to apply the same to to get the same effect and also on these stars. So these are icons with a background. And the reason they have a background is so that they cover the line, the divider line. And it gives this, it makes it quite a nice effect. Also, these are absolutely positioned. That's, that's pretty important to know. So if you wanna change the position, you have to go to edit position here. But so each of these icons has a little background and I would have to go and change this here like this on each of the three little stars. And of, of course, because they're icons, you can also exchange them for any other icon. It doesn't have to be stars. There we go. So that's how we can change the background of this. There's also a smaller version of this guarantee badge on one of the other pages, which is basically editable in exactly the same way. Finally, we have another graphical looking object, which is actually not a graphic at all which are these icons here. These are actually single elements. So this isn't the construction of, you know, an icon inside a box, inside some other thing. This is a single icon element. So first of all, we can choose any icon for this, right? You can easily just replace this icon with whatever you need. And here's how this is constructed. We've got this icon. It's got an inside padding. So that makes the space around the icon. It's got this dark gray background. So we can change, let's again, assume that we wanna change the background color to this shade of red. So we can apply that. And then it has, what we also wanna adjust is this outside border, right? And we have a similar effect to what we had before. We have a top border, which is white, and a left side border, which is white and seven pixels. And we have no border on the other two sides. So the white corner thing here, those are the borders. And then the black line around it, that is once again a drop shadow. So I can go in here, apply the same red here, and that makes, that basically changes the color. Another thing about this is if we select the icon, you can resize this and it will scale quite nicely. You'd probably also want to change the size of the border accordingly. So if I want to make this a lot larger like this, I might then go in and also increase the size of the border on the top and the left. So again, without any kind of graphical tool, you can make this graphic and customize this graphic to your needs.
This is all part of the bright landing page set that's available right now in the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress.